Hey guys, welcome back to Kenny Fan TV. Again, we have the team. Wanga, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I see. I see the <laughs> smile in your face, Steve. Exciting team as we can. Disappointment in you. Uh, today's games, man. Exciting games. We can go through it quickly. As we go through the results quickly, anyway. We had the, some early games. Uh, Crystal Palace, Liverpool, one 0 Liverpool. Brentford mm -hmm. five three to Wolverhampton. Mm, wow. Leicester one 0 to Bournemouth. Manchester City. Wow. 3-2. Right West Ham, 4-1 against Ipswich. That's a big Ooh. one. Boom then we had Arsenal 3-1, Southampton. Let's kick Lucky off with that Arsenal. one. Arsenal, Arsenal, Southampton. Wow. Like that. That, that was a bit of a heartbreak. <laughs> First of all, I have to, Steve, I have to get back to you on that one because, you know, you had this <laughs> you had this feeling Martinelli being benched. You, you yeah. saw Martinelli being benched. You saw how Arsenal were flat. Sterling, Jesus, were given the front line today. Mm-hmm. Nothing really been offered. Southampton, yeah. team that's been performing the worst, came to Emirates and performed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I agree with you. I agree with you completely, Abdi, because I think I had mentioned uh, this when we were doing the uh, pre analysis that Southampton uh, also they have the ability to score because you've seen them at least salvaging a goal. And uh, I think, yes, it was a good. I think Acheta was just trying to make, uh, he was trying to make um, more of a more of a, it was just do a, a trial, a trial with the, with the Jesus and, uh, yeah. and, and Stalin, which of course it, at some point when the game started in the first half, they looked like a threat, but they didn't really convert the chances that they got. So I felt it being so redundant. And I think he has to work on that yeah. part because they did play a good game, but a good game is always seen when we see goals. So they did a good game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't shun them off because they did a good game. Uh, just that yeah. they have to convert. To, to, the, to the goals and then to the second half i gotta give it to to the boys and actually ateta because it's been it's been it's been a thing that if you score against arsenal it's like you're poking the bees so <laughs> it's like they just put another in, in the less than three minutes yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You, you don't don't score too early that's yeah that's, that's, what, what are you doing that just came back it's like wow why are you poking me i'm just trying to play a game <laughs> why are you poking me so it, it, the, the reaction the reaction time and the yeah. reaction rate was amazing for me I liked it. I just gotta say, okay. an amazing uh, performance with the boys. I appreciate it so much, yeah. and uh, that was a good. Uh, that, that, those were good subs that were made, and uh, it, it shows that there's maturity in uh, Ateta's coaching skills because we we were almost losing that one, just like we did in the <laughs> South, South, the first game last okay. last week. So 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 uh, so, 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 so just to cut you out there. So so we're yeah. looking at it. We, we we we're pleased with that kind of performance and and the level that they were going at. I mean, Wanga. Uh, Arsenal yeah. for you, they they look like they just keep rolling on. And how how's that for you? Uh, I think when we look into this particular match, Abdi, in the first half, uh, it was a quite boring match. There were no chances created for both teams, and you know when like, quite, quite boring match. Look yeah, it was a quite boring match. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> start saying boring was, matches and boring. yeah, 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 this yeah. Boring match. Was, this, it, this, was, it, this was a very defensive game by Southampton. And Arsenal will try to break them down. But yeah, go on, I'll let go on, go on, I'll give you the but, floor. But honestly, if you will look in that half, uh, first half, Arsenal could not break down Southampton. And for the neutral fans, as much as we were watching from and their neutral perspective, uh, it you, was quite a happy, boring Yeah, it was quite a boring match. Uh, in the first half, Arsenal could not, you know, create those chances, but they came up in the second half and when Southampton, that is Archer, scored the first, you know. We were happy. We thought maybe this could be it, but you know, as Arsenal, they usually <laughs> tend to work. Yeah, they usually tend yeah. to work under pressure. And the moment they get to concede, that's when they you know, show they truly they, they are two colors. And you know, Kai Havertz always standing up for the big matches. I've seen Kai Havertz has scored in all uh, yeah, yeah. the past six Premier League matches uh, that Arsenal has played at home. So I think uh, he has been a crucial player for Arsenal. And you know, it was a routine win for Arsenal. Nobody expected that you know Southampton will, tra will trouble them. And we've seen Southampton are yeah. still struggling, winless in the season. Uh, you know, and we are going. We are heading into the international break. So I think it was crucial three points for Arsenal going forward, conceding against Southampton, a team you know. We've, we've been talking about how Arsenal are good defensive wise, but I think it was a quick, uh, cheap goal to concede uh, towards Southampton. But it, it was a quite superb goal from Archer. I think yeah, moving it was, forward, it was a deflection. If you yeah, yeah, to count it, it was, a, it was a deflection. Yeah, it was but one goal conceded. But yeah, but that's and, the, and, and the possible the foul actually. There was a possible foul. You see, you see, the, the, yeah. the team can go back. And let, let me let me just carry off. I just think like uh, that, that the goal was well deserved because. Asher did did well, 
But uh, just like we scored against Leicester City, there was a foul. That's football because it, not because it's Arsenal. Let's not say it's, it's not something else because sometimes the decisions go your way, mm. sometimes they don't go your way. It was a good one. Just to just to wrap this up because I feel if I don't say this out yeah. this day, if I don't say this out today, I think I'm I'm going to die with being angry <laughs> because today, yeah. let me tell you, man of the match, Kai Havertz. I have never seen Kai Havertz play in that. In the oh, for the first for the for the first time, still is saying ball. Kai Havertz is I, I, have, I, have, I have to admit. No, no, no. no actually, <laughs> I want, what I want to get you was forget Kai Havertz. You, yeah. I need to take attack you on the Martinelli thing. Rota, you saw a Martinelli. I know the Martinelli thing because you saw how the team was looks flat without Martinelli. <laughs> It was it, that is the fight between me and you. Yeah. <laughs> but my fight has always been between me and Kai Havertz. Today I saw him hold the ball. I saw him sup- hold the ball and supply the ball in a very good way. And that is what I've always expected from him since he came to Arsenal. Yes, he's got crucial goals for Arsenal. I don't dispute that. But I've always wanted to see the level of the level at which Kai Havertz was playing today is the Kai Havertz I want to see. Yeah. Kai Havertz today I, was impressive. And, and I think I'm the goal, that shows composure. Yeah. Just someone who knows what oh. he's doing. I liked it. One okay. of the for me, Kai Havertz. And I think Abdu should oh, also give okay, credit to Kai Havertz because when we look at the number of goals Kai Havertz has been scoring for Arsenal, yeah. they are quite <laughs> crucial goals. You see, Kai Havertz won uh, the the Champions League with with, with the Chelsea. He scored the the main goal in the Champions League, and when he went uh, out on, on the other man. match, and he said, <laughs> and, and he <laughs> said, that's rubbish. That's rubbish. <laughs> you know, rubbish. you know, you know, you know, Arsenal, man, Arsenal fans were. Like, like, we're bringing history here, man. We're talking about today's game. That's just, yeah, the most rundown thing. Okay, 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 guys. Okay, okay. Let's not let's not go too much into it that was arsenal there great game from arsenal played well back back in it uh let's move on to the next one uh manchester city manchester city well what, what, what can we say about them now it, it started off well for fulham mm-hmm. they caused the problems yeah. they were in there they got that early goal but of course city are city when you're playing the etihad no matter how tight it might be no matter how close you might get they just they just come out at the end of the day let me let me start with you wango on that one what, what what's your suggestion on that one do any frailties there with City or is just business as usual? Yeah, I think uh, Manchester City coming off from a draw away at Newcastle needed this win badly. And uh, we saw in the first half they were not that dominant because, you know, they don't have that, this creative midfielder. They usually have the likes of Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne. But, you know, they got back to their, you know, after that early scare by Andres Pereira scoring that goal and, you know, doing the seal. The one that Ronaldo usually the celebration for Ronaldo. I think Manchester City, uh, yeah. Kovacic, what a player, you know. It's like he's going to fill this uh, uh, Rodri shoes as much as they're too big to fill. But uh, I think Manchester City have, you know, gave the response they needed into heading into this particular match. Because when you look as far as the title contenders, title contention is concerned, they really needed this match because Liverpool have won their game earlier. And, you know, Arsenal has also won their game and they're trailing by the title race by you know a margin of one point but it was a good game to watch fulham marco silva i think he's trying to build a team we've seen the kind of performance he has built recently you know they are currently position seven in the premier league a position that you know nobody expected them to do to be in currently so moving forward i think fulham are good but manchester city were needed the win more much more than manchester city okay okay uh steve yeah, yeah. Manchester City in there. Well, everyone knows we're all chasing them. That's the club everyone is chasing right now. Liverpool, they came up with it. Dude, Arsenal did the job. Yeah. But City, man, I mean, it doesn't matter what happens. You you know, you throw things at them, they just always just come out of it. Yeah, yeah. I ex- I actually, I, it's, it's, a, it's an outcome that I expected from a Manchester City side that has uh, two draws in a row in the Premier League. Actually, if you, if you put <laughs> plus the Champions League, those are three draws before even <laughs> they won the thing. So yeah. it's it's an it's an expectation I had from the from them even as I we spoke before the the pre, the pre analysis is that they mm. they needed a, a win because it's not it's not like them the level at which Manchester mm. City are playing they don't expect mm. to have pros coming come out uh, one day coming in one day coming out so I think it's mm. one thing that uh, they stepped up and actually it's interesting that the person who replaced Rodri is the one who scored two goals today so interesting. Yeah, it, show, it shows you that it shows you that he's a quality, uh, he's a quality player. Yeah, quality yeah. Quality player. Yeah, it it, show, it shows that uh, there is a yes, there is a gap, but it doesn't mean that we cannot do it without it. You see, uh, it was impressive. I think I'm gonna give them a head uh, a thumbs up for that performance because the person you expect to control the midfield is not there, but the person who replaces that 
that key, key part, part person in the in the team is the one who gives you the the, the win. So I think it's it's so amazing for the, for them to come back from the from the from a <laughs> from a yeah. team. That I, I mentioned Raul Jimenez, whatever he can what, what he can do, we saw that happening because it's, it's a game I expect to be entertaining, and uh, I think it's a good it's it's a, it's a good it's a, it's a good score because now the table is just yeah. one point away from Liverpool. It was an exciting game. I mean, Fulham, Fulham put up the fight there. You know, yeah. They, yeah. they turned up. They proved what, what, what a tough team they're going to be. What yeah. surprised me most most about that match is that Doku scored. Because, you know, I, I find him to be a player. Yeah. Quite skillful, but he's one-dimensional. And uh, I don't think he's going to kind of, kind of guy who's going to score a lot of goals. But I was surprised he got one today. All right, guys. That was that. Let's move on to our early game of today. Crystal Palace versus Liverpool. That... that <laughs> Boring game. Boring it wasn't game. much going on in that game, but uh, boring game. Boring game. You know, ah. But Liverpool, man, Liverpool slot. Another win, another clean sheet. You can't, you can't knock him, man. Yeah. I, I can't, I can't not be. I can't, I can't knock him out because uh, mm. we, we always say that the, the scoreline is what that matters most, yeah. But yeah. honestly, that but game. What, what can you knock about that? I mean, they're, they're, but Crystal Palace, I, we I, know are dangerous. They, no, they, they, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't argue with the scoreline. Score they they got to win. Like, no, I got it. That's what I'm saying. I can't argue. Yeah, and, 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 and that's what my, they're rolling on, and it's like the beginning of the season for him. This is like yeah. he's literally just managed seven games in his Liverpool and one, like, career, and he's on top of the league, and he's got six wins, one defeat, and he's literally how many was is that two goals still conceded? If I'm correct, yes, two goals conceded yeah, in seven games. You, I mean, I think even I thought. The defense will be no. the issue this season. I mean, I'm, I'm, so just, I'm just saying for I'm just saying for for I'm I'm just if I was a, if, yeah. if I was a Liverpool fan or player, I would be worried because if we can really, yeah, the, the three points are important for such a team as a uh, team as a uh, such a team as as, uh, as 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 they face. Because honestly, yeah. Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace today did not give their best, but I won't say that it's not, it's not because of Crystal Palace not giving their best. Liverpool also did not give give their best because they had a chance to, right. to beat that team with a big margin, but they did not convert those chances. Sure. So, yeah, I'm gonna give you that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I, I, I will say that because, yeah. but I, uh, Palace, but it, doesn't it doesn't matter. All those chances you miss. It doesn't, doesn't matter. But I, I don't expect yeah. if that's the Liverpool that's going to face. If that's the yeah. if that, if mm. that is the Liverpool team that is going to face the top four teams or the top five teams. Then I don't yeah. think they're going anywhere. All right, let's, 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 let's I think I think I think yeah, I think Abdi Abdi Abdi. I think we you you know we have to give credit to Anes Lord. You know he's the first manager to win like seven out of you know he's beaten only once this season, and that is yeah. by Nottingham Forest. He's like top of the league currently. Why why are you guys being so harsh about about him? I think if we look from the positive side, I'm not harsh on him. Abdi, I'm not, not harsh on him. Steve, I'm just Steve saying, we, I'm not harsh on Liverpool, I'm saying Liverpool, Liverpool have just no, conceded. Not my own. No, don't put words in my mouth. What I'm saying yeah. is, yeah, no, no, I, no, I, no. I, 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 I acknowledge. Steve, you're just you're, you're you're a little bit you're skeptical about them still. That's the I'm thing, not being right? no, skeptical. I'm, I'm, I'm acknowledging the wins. Huh? I'm acknowledging the win. Just get uh, me but, right. But, I'm just but when we look from when we look is, if if Liverpool are gonna play with the same quality and they haven't met the top the top five teams, then I don't think. They, it's gonna be easy for them. I'm not. I'm not disputing. I'm. I'm not. I'm no, not Steve, Steve, I know. Steve, there. I know. I know where you stand with it. But okay, no. Wanga, <laughs> are you seeing Wanga? Do you think Liverpool under slot? What you've seen so far, are they title contenders in your eyes? I think when we look into this Liverpool, side, yes or no? no? It's a yes or no question. No, 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 no. Don't give us no politician answer. No, are it's they, a yes or no okay. thing. Uh, we, your, are they title contenders? Do you think? Then they are the eyes. top of the table. They are the title contenders. Okay, and okay. clearly yeah. they've just conceded two goals in the like yeah. the past eight matches, beaten only once. So I think under the top of the table. So we should yeah. give credit to this uh, Ernest Lord side because he's a new manager coming into this Liverpool side who have had you know a wonderful coach, uh, Jürgen Slob, Jürgen Slot. And uh, particularly when we look into the, this particular match between the Crystal Palace, I know it, was, it, did, it people expected it to have goals, indeed delivered the intriguing moments, and uh, it could have easily ended into a draw. We saw uh, Berechi is having that one-on-one -on -one chance and, you know, ending up scoring the hit, and Diogo Jota scoring his first goal in the longest while. I think it was a comfortable win for Crystal, for Liverpool, but, you know, we should appreciate Jagen's clutch uh, you should appreciate Anes Lord. Yeah, uh, yes. 
In the second half, it's when they got, you know, uh, pushed to the limits. But in the first half, they were so comfortable. Mm. And from the ninth minute when they scored that goal by uh, Jota, they never got any threat. And moving forward, I think Anes Lord should, you know, be thinking of... Okay, I'll never do you watch it, but the, okay, but before we leave, uh, I mean, the one downfall for Liverpool in that game is that they, they lost um, Alisson. Oh, yeah, Alisson, through injury. And, you know, it's big a big blow, loss big for He actually was stretched off, apparently. It wasn't just... That's through. a big blow. Yeah, that's yeah, a big that's loss. That's going to be a big blow there. Yeah. That's going and, to be a big blow. That, that, that can come back toward them. But then now, we're off for two weeks. We have international break for two weeks, yeah. guys. Um, that's it for today. It's amazing game today. We're back tomorrow to look for... To find out if this guy is going to have... His heart rate is going to be okay tomorrow. <laughs> is it going to be? <laughs> uh, Steve, is it going to, you think, are you going to be okay? Uh, don't, uh, don't disappear on us tomorrow, Wanga. Huh? Don't, don't tell us you, you, you have a flu or something. Or you sick. <laughs> <laughs> another, 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 another big week for Manchester United fans. And, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a tough match. Uh, looking into this Aston ah, Villa side. We'll save, we'll save it for treatment. tomorrow. We don't have to go into that one. All right, yeah. guys. Thank you. Another good, another good day for games, man. Arsenal, Liverpool, City rolled on. The rest of the teams are following on. And I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow yeah. for the big game. We are Monday. looking forward Arsenal. into Manchester United. Good evening, evening guys. <laughs> subscribe. Please subscribe, guys. Thank you very much. We are right, looking guys. forward Thank into seeing Manchester United winning. Ah. Are you okay. looking forward? <laughs> All right, let's see. We are. Let's see. The whole world is.